Hi, my name is The Dinks, and today I will be reacting to the new song by Bad Computer, So Lost, featuring I'm All Right. The cover art for this release looks it looks pretty interesting. It hasn't got a computer on it. Not, not that it's a bad thing, of course. This is the second release of the year. This has followed his first release in January 4D with Ryan Koss, uh, which I did really like. I think I have that at a 9, 9.25 out of 10, so a really solid start to the year for him for sure. Um, I'm All Right. I'm, I've actually enjoyed his vocals on quite a lot of songs. Collapse by Kiro... Um, good Feeling by More Plastic, there's a lot of good songs that have his vocals, what else, Drift Away by Have, a lot of a lot of good performances under his belt, so I'm excited to see what he does here. This track is about three minutes long, uh, yeah, we shall just get into it right now. So Lost by Mac Computer. I like that effect on the vocal, it's neat. Sweet chords. Ooh. I think I've heard this specific sound from back and Peter before, but I'm enjoying it so far. to it. You know, really crisp, clean feel. Nice bass. I feel like the vocals are a little bit drowned out, but other than that, it's all good. Let's see what we get from the rest of this track. I'm excited to see where the drop takes us. This is a drop, I'm not complaining about that either. It's a little less technical, it's more poppy from my computer, which is what he said he'd be focusing on when he returned in 2022. 2023, sorry. No, it was 2022. Yeah, I'm just enjoying all the sounds going on. None of them stick out to me especially though. Yeah, it's a little bit of a different sound than his usual glitchy complexro madness. Um, it is, yeah, it's, it's pretty different for him. I, I rate the change though. It's a nice, it's a nice style going on. And that progression has been making its way across the track really nicely. Ooh, someone like, how do I describe that? It's kind of like rumbling, but like not. It's like, some like fuzzy background. Um, like it's got a nice texture. Oh, is that it? That's it. Overall thoughts. It was a nice track. The vocal performance, it contributed a nice amount. It wasn't too much going into its own thing. So it wasn't like reliant on the vocal. Uh, the production for Bad Computer, it's a lot more poppy than usual, but a lot more poppy than, let's say, Fly or Blue. It takes, it pretty much takes a league of its own. Um, it's more pop than House, I'd say. But all the sounds going on, it's quite, um, it's quite sweet. It's quite like, there's a, it's a nice um, tone, there's a nice atmosphere created with all the sounds going together. But yeah, um, it's a nice change of pace. It is pretty different from his previous single this year, of course, which I talked about at the start of the video. Uh, overall, I do I do rate this as a bad computer song. It is not one of his best, but I, I do, again, I rate the direction he took. I'm running out of words, I know. But um, yeah, just sounds nice. It's got a, it's a pleasurable listening experience. I will re-listen again with 
uh, earplugs in so I can get a full proper experience of the sound. At the minute, this is sat at a low to mid seven out of 10. So seven and a half, seven and a quarter out of 10. But it's definitely a solid cut. It will be going in the playlist for now. Let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. Was this a good Bad Computer track? Was it about normal for him? Or did you just not like it for some reason? If, if not, tell me why. I hope you all have a brilliant rest of your day. Um, this is me signing off for now. Uh, see you in the next one.